Well, right now, University of Iowa students are gathering to protest the Israel-Hamas war. They say they're standing in solidarity with demonstrations and encampments at college campuses all across the country. This is the first day of the planned three-day pro-Palestine protest in Iowa City. KWWL reporter Daniel Perot is live for us tonight on the Pentecrest as they're just about to wrap up for the day. And Daniel, this certainly has been a very peaceful demonstration. That's right, Ron. We've seen a mix of protesting and also programming. A few minutes ago, the demonstrators went on a march around downtown Iowa City. They are now all back here sitting around what is their home base for the next three days here on the Pentecrest. Organizers say they intend for this to be peaceful. It has mostly been that way. There was a brief confrontation with a group of boys who was holding an American flag, but that really fizzled out quite quickly. There have been some presentations from Jewish groups, Palestinian ones, and others in the community. Free, free, free Palestine! This morning, about a dozen students demonstrated outside of Iowa City High School. They put up tents and stood on the front lawn of the school. Throughout the school day, they walked around and chanted, holding signs with messages like, end USA to Israel and stop bombing children. Seeing what's going on in Gaza, um, it's hard to sit back and watch and not do anything about it. And so we're just trying to do our part um, to share our voice and try and make a difference and let our representatives know that we don't stand for the things they're saying, the things they're doing, the laws that they're passing. Organizers made clear this is not an encampment and they do not plan to set up any tents like we've seen at some of the other schools across the country, but they say they do stand in solidarity with those encampments at other schools. We have seen time and time again how those groups and protesters have been vilified, how our intentions have been twisted, and we wanted to make sure that we were creating an event where it was so clearly peaceful and community building that no matter what anybody said, we would have this great event to prove them wrong. Demonstrators have a list of eight demands for the university. They include no more U.S. military aid to Israel and the university divesting from weapons manufacturers that arm Israel. They also want the university, Carver College of Medicine, and UIHC to put out a statement in support of a ceasefire. Protesters are also demanding that the university cut ties with all Israeli institutions. Organizers say they have tried to take their concerns to university leaders, but so far they have not been able to have a dialogue or a conversation with them. The university says it supports the demonstrators' right to free expression so long as they follow all university policies, rules, and guidelines. So far, they have done that. We expect them to wrap up at the top of the hour at 7 o'clock, but then they'll be back out here at noon on Saturday and Sunday. In Iowa City, Daniel Pro, News 7, KWWL. All right, very interesting to see you there. Thanks so much, Daniel.